Hi guys and welcome to today's class. So for today's class, we're looking at the first principle differentiation of y equal to x cubed. All right. So I've been getting a lot of comments asking me to do this. So let me solve this and you see how it's done. Now remember that for first principle, your first task is that to y, I will add change in y and it's equal to to x, I will add change in x, then I'll cube this. All right. So this is your first tax, all right? To y, add change in y, and to x, add change in x. So I have this. Next up, I'll be having that y plus change in y, it's equal to, now your tax will be to expand this. So if I expand x plus change in x, what do we get? If I expand x plus change in x, this will be equal to, what I'll have here is x cubed plus 3x squared change in x plus 3x change in x squared plus change in x cubed all right so i'll have this if i do my expansion but then just to carry everybody along let me solve this so i'm saying if i have x or okay so i'm saying if i have x plus change in x let me expand this real quick so that um, some pieces also learn. This is equal to x plus change in x multiplying x plus change in x multiplying x plus change in x. That's three times. So I have this. And this is simply equal to x plus change in x. We have this. And we know that if I multiply this by itself, all right, so the, the tax is this. Keep this one separately. Multiply this two. So I'll multiply this two here and I'll keep this one aside. All right. So if I multiply this, it becomes x plus change in x into x plus change in x. Now multiplying this, take the first term here, x, multiply this one here, x. So this multiplying this, x times x gives you x squared plus, next up, take this x here, multiply change in x. x times change in x, mind you, is x change in x. All right. That's, it's not change in x squared. What you have is x change in x. Next up, take the second term here, change in x, multiply x. All right, just like you did here, when you multiply this x here by this change in x, it gave you x change in x. Also, change in x times x is actually x change in x. You have x change in x plus, finally, you have change in x here, multiplying change in x. That gives you change in x all squared. If you look at this, if you look at this, this is equal to x squared. These two are like terms, having x change in x and x change in x. All right, they're the same thing. The coefficient here is 1. Coefficient here is 1. So 1 plus 1 gives you what there? Gives you 2x change in x plus, finally, I have this one here, which is change in x squared. All right, so if I do that, I will have this case here x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared now don't forget we kept this one pending so let's use this one to multiply our final answer and that will be x plus change in x multiplying our final answer here which is x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared all right so let's work on this what do we have this is equal to use the first term multiply everything here so let's start with this so x times x squared gives you x cubed plus x times 2x change in x gives you 2x squared change in x plus x here times change in x squared gives you x change in x squared Plus, so I'm done with x. Go to change in x. Change in x times x squared gives you um, x squared change in x, right? So change in x times x squared gives you x squared change in x plus. Proceeding, I have change in x times 2x change in x. So this change in x will multiply this change in x. That gives you 2x change in x squared. So I have. 2x change in x squared plus finally i have change in x times change in x squared that gives you 
change in x cube. All right, so this is equal to, so what I have here is x cube. Okay, so I have x cube here. Uh, if I take like terms, you can see this one here. This is x squared change in x. This is x squared change in x. This is two. What I have here is one. So two plus one gives you three x squared change in x. Okay. Plus next up I have x change in x squared. That's this one here. I also have x change in x squared. So what I have here is one. So one here plus two gives you three. That becomes three x change in x squared. And then plus finally I have change in x cube all right so we have this so this is how i got my answer all right that was the answer i gave you here all right so this is how i got this answer all right so having said that and let's proceed with this solving now so i've shown you how we got this answer let's proceed with this so this now be so at this point my next task is to move y over here and if i do that that means at the left hand side here here i'll be left to change in y so I'll be left to change in y is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared change in x plus 3x change in x squared plus change in x cubed. So y moves over to the right hand side becomes minus y. But as we can see here, y is already x cubed so i will substitute that value that means i'll have change in y is equal to x cubed plus 3 x squared change in x plus 3 x change in x squared plus change in x cubed minus y what's y there so the y is x cubed all right, so at this point, you can see that x cubed will cancel minus x cubed. So they go off. What am I left with? I'm left with change in y being equal to 3x squared change in x. That's this into this one here, which is plus 3x change in x squared plus this one here. That's change in x cubed. All right. My next step will now be divide true by changing x. So I'll divide here by changing x, divide here by changing x, divide here by changing x, also divide this by changing x. From here, you can see that changing x will cancel changing x. Changing x cancels one of this. That gives you changing x, right? This was squared. So this cancels one of it. This one here is to power 3. As you can see here, part three. So one will cancel this. I'm left with two of it. That means if this cancel this, I'll be having I'll be having change in x all squared. All right. So let's write out our answer and see what we have so far. All right. So what we have so far, we have that we have that change in y all over change in x is equal to from this, you can see that uh, I'm left here with 3x squared. So it's equal to 3x squared, 3x squared plus, moving on, I have 3x times change in x, which is 3x change in x. So plus 3x change in x plus, moving on, I'm having change in x squared, as you can see here. So plus, Changing x squared. My next task will now be take the limit. Since I'm done with this, I'm still having change in x. I'll take the limit. So take the limit of change in x to be equal to zero. Now what this means is that wherever I see change in x on the right hand side of the equation, I'll call it zero. So I'm having change in y all over change in x is equal to three x squared plus three x into this change in x becomes 0 plus this change in x becomes 0 all squared. 
Of course, 3x times 0 is 0. 0 squared is 0. So they are all gone. So hence, we have that my final answer, that change in y all over change in x is equal to this one here, which is 3x squared. So this is how I solve this question using um, first principle, right? You, so this is how I solve this question using first principle, okay? All right, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video, okay? Leave a comment. Tell us if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if it's your first time, please subscribe to this channel so you can have more content. And don't forget to share this to your friends so they can also learn, okay? Also, you can get my books and my courses from my website. Simply visit www.jonahemmanuel.com forward slash courses. So if you go if you go to this website, you would see. All right. So if you go to this website, okay. So you can go to this website here. If you go to this website here, you see my courses. I have a complete course on organic chemistry. Um, you can see my other courses there. Also, I have a book, all right, on um, scholarships. If you're interested, all right. So you can see some scholarship books there. Also, on my website, all right. So you can just place an order for them, and you'd have it for yourself. Okay. Thank you, and see you in our next class.